The next website I'm going to be talking about today is called CosmeticsDatabase.com and on this website you can search for different products you use and see how it rates them. You can search for skincare, cleaning products like soaps and acne treatments, um, sun products, and um, like personal care like deodorant and cleaning. You can look up hair products that you use, fragrances, and then there's a section called Babies and Moms where you can look up baby products that you use. And then there's an oral care section and then a men's section. So yes, this is a really awesome site that you can plug in um, different products you're using. So today I'm going to be plugging in the makeups that I'm using and see what scores they get and see if I need to um, find new makeup. I don't really use that much when it comes to makeup. I'm starting to try to detox my home and different products I use. So the first product I'm going to search for is Neutrogena Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen in it. All right, and this site gave it a three, and that means it has a moderate hazard. There's three ratings that they give. One through two is low hazard, three through six is moderate hazard, and seven through 10 is high hazard. So you can click on it, and it will tell you um, the score that it gives, and this one it gave moderate hazard. The next product that I'm going to search for is by Maybelline and it's called Mineral Power. And this one got a score of 2, so it's low hazard. Now I'm going to search for a clear mascara I use called Great Lash and it's by Maybelline. This got a rating of 5, so um, has a moderate hazard. Alright, this is another product by Maybelline. I usually just use products that you can buy at like Walmart or Target. I don't use like any high-end makeup or anything. This is called Gold Lights, and it's an eyeshadow by Maybelline. This got a score of 3, so it's a moderate hazard. This is a lip gloss that I have. The name has been rubbed off, but it's called Brilliant Something, and it's by Maybelline. I couldn't find the rating for this one, but a lot of lip glosses by Maybelline got a rating of 4, so that's a moderate hazard. Here is another product by Maybelline, and it's a concealer. And this one got a rating of 4, so it's a moderate hazard. The next one is a mascara. It's hypoallergenic and it's Revival Labs. I don't know how to say it. I cannot find this one on there, so I don't know what the rating for this one is. Alright, this is another primer I use, and it's called 100% Pure. It's 100% natural and 100% vegan. There's also no score for this one, so I don't know how it rates. All right, the last product that I'm going to find a score for is by Physicians Formula, and it's an eyeliner, and it's called Smoky Eyes. And this one got a rating of 2, so it's a low hazard. All right, so the only two products that I use that got a low rating are... Mineral Power by Maybelline, and an eyeliner called Smoky Eyes by Physicians Formula. So these were the only two that I got with a low rating. And the other ones um, that I got all had moderate ratings. And here they are again. A Daily Moisturizer by Neutrogena. Eyeshadow by Maybelline. Some concealer by Maybelline, clear mascara by Maybelline, 
and some lip gloss by Maybelline. All of these were a moderate rating. So I'm not currently using any products that have a high hazard, but most of my products had a moderate hazard. So I am going to try to find some products like these with a lower score to use during pregnancy. I hope this video was helpful to anybody. I'm going to be um, doing some more videos like this with the cleaning products I use and the soaps and shampoos that I use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you for my next video. Smoky eyes, eyeliner. <laughs> and some lip gloss by Maybelline. They were all. Oh.